Happy lunch hour, gang. Okay, well, I originally had something different planned for lunchtime today, but uh, that kind of got put on the back burner, and so we have a different topic that's a little bit more pressing to come up with. So we all know what's going on in Ukraine, right? You know, there's this little war going on that we keep getting dragged into further and further and further. Well, all those people that are against it, yeah. So let me ask you this. Uh, if you saw a list of people and they included Donald Trump, the squad, you know, AOC, Rashida Tlaib, Ilhan Omar, that group, uh, oh, let's see, Tim Pool, Fox News, uh, The Benny Show, uh, oh, let's see, half of Congress, you know, Republicans at least, uh, if you saw the Libertarian Party, if you saw Breitbart News, if you saw, oh, I don't know who else was in there, there's just a whole bunch of... Ron DeSantis, or, oh, I don't know, Jack Posobiec, you know, a bunch of people that you know, what would you say they all had in common? I mean, this, this is a good exercise. What do AOC and Donald Trump have in common? Right? Just giving you this. Well, I'll give you exactly what they have, and you can read it all for yourself below. And you can look at the entire list of all 47 pages of people that are on this list. A Ukrainian NGO, non-government organization, just put out an enemies list that includes a whole boatload of U.S. citizens. Blaming these people for Ukraine's issues on the battlefield. Okay. Here's where it gets really funny. The founder, Anatoly, Anatoly Bondarenko, was trained at the State Department's, U.S. State Department's, tech camp. And now he's using that training to target U.S. citizens with an enemies list. Okay. Oh, let's get a little further into this. This NGO receives U.S. funding. This is a Ukrainian NGO. Okay. So basically, we're being, you and me, okay, the American public, is being forced to fund this war, okay, this meat grinder that the Ukrainians are sending any person, male, female, young, old, into, when we could have had peace years ago. But now they're taking our money and then calling us the enemy. Gee, I don't know. Maybe we should get a hold of Lindsey Graham and ask him about the HIMARS missile, or you know, HIMARS missile systems, or all the other M1 tanks and everything like that that he's been pounding the table saying we have to send over there, right? Okay. This is a kill list by the Ukrainians against the American government, against anybody that is against sending more funding to Ukraine. Who's running the show? Is it Joe? Joe's name's not on the list, by the way. Okay. Gee, is Hunter's name on the list? Probably not. Absolutely. Actually, no, it's not at all. Okay. Because one of the biggest or most corrupt countries in the world, Ukraine, okay, is now biting the hand that feeds it, calling all these people. How many, how many Republican senators, how many Republican congressmen, many of whom on this list, have voted to continue funding Ukraine. 
And now they're on an enemies list. They're on a kill list. Remember how World War I started, guys. All it took was one assassination. But this has been published. And now you can see exactly what the Ukrainians think of the American public. Oh, if we're not going to continue funding them, then we're enemies of Ukraine. Right there. So who's making the first call to Zelensky and saying, what's the deal here? Are we going to invite him to speak in front of the House, both houses of Congress again to tell us how, oh, it, it's our duty to protect Ukraine? No. This war could have been over two years ago. Ukraine couldn't defend themselves. Oh, well, guess you lost your country. Simply put, basically wars have happened in the, in the world like that forever, since the beginning of time. One group wanted a certain piece of land because they needed access to the sea, they wanted spices, they wanted salt, they wanted minerals, they wanted oil, whatever it would be. Gee, I'm sorry, Ukraine. You couldn't defend your own country from, from Russia? Sucks to be you. It's not our responsibility to fund you. But for two years, we've been sending you hundreds of billions of dollars Politicians in the United States have been funding you with my money, with your money, right, politicians? Also, they could get richer because they're invested in the defense industry. And all those lobbyists are taking them out to nice dinners and buying them concert tickets. And hell, if you were Bob Menendez before he got kicked out handing you gold bars. And now all of a sudden, Ukraine's going to put you on a kill list, on an enemies list. You're an enemy to Ukraine. Ooh, let me get worried there. Because what are you going to come after us with, Ukraine? Your wooden rifles? We need to cut off every penny of funding. Every senator, every representative's name who is on this list. And like I said, it ain't just Republicans. The squad is on this list. Don't believe me? Go look. I believe it was page 36. Okay, You can sort it real quick. Just look by Democratic. You'll find it. Okay. Every one of these senators, congressmen, defense people, defense industry people, I mean, need to stop immediately because Ukraine just told them, your life is at risk. You're a threat to our country. Hey, Ukraine. Hey, Zelensky, real quick. We could wipe you off the face of the earth in about 36 hours. No. You want an enemies list? You just made ours.